Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everybody, checking back into the biotech sector on the daily and weekly time frame. We're going to look at XBI, IBB, and LABD. So the bulls have been in control. XBI setting some higher highs here. Very strong uptrend with the higher lows and higher highs. Breaking very strong on increasing volume to the upside. But a big pullback day today allowing some opportunity in LABD. And that is what we were playing in the Chart Guys community. So I'll point out those levels and entries, signals. But looking at the weekly chart for XBI, we have a bearish reversal, inverted hammer at the upper Bollinger Band resistance. So with a rejection here, we're anticipating a red week next week to confirm this bearish reversal candlestick and cool off a little bit of the very strong move that the bulls have seen. That being said, we did get that higher high, so that uptrend for the past four months is still intact. There's a big difference now between IBB and XBI. When we first started doing these videos, comparing the two, they were almost identical. But definitely seeing the differences, we can see the biggest being IBB has not broken the high of the last bounce. So a completely different chart. This one, we've got our low and our high, higher low and currently a lower high compared to a very clear uptrend on XBI. So we had the pullback here as well, but the bulls buying the dip within a much longer lower wick than on XBI. Weekly chart for IBB is also a bearish reversal candlestick, but really where it's positioned on the chart, it means completely different thing compared to XBI. It's a lot weaker in my opinion because it's a lower high and we just have a tightening range that's forming here on this weekly time frame. So that's interesting to note. We'll see how it plays out from here. LABD, we were looking for a bullish entry and we actually got in a little bit early. We entered yesterday and made some quick trades. I like the bounce off 30 psychological support yesterday because we were at oversold conditions and I was looking at the weekly support on LABD. So this was utilizing multiple time frames. I looked at LABD, I saw in its history it does have a higher low pattern and we have defended this $30 level multiple times. So I anticipated $30 would be strong support and the fact that we hit it with the five minute chart with an oversold RSI on Thursday, that led me to believe it was a good area for the bulls to defend and see a bounce. We did get a nice bounce on that level. It pulled back. I was potentially looking for a uh, an excuse to swing trade, which I would have needed a bullish reversal candlestick Thursday. Obviously, we did not get that with the bears controlling the end of the day. But that had us prepared for today. We had the bearish payroll numbers come out pre-market. I personally got in pre-market. I know a lot of other members were in the trade as well, and it gave big time gains to the upside because of that weakness in the markets, which translated into weakness in the biotech sector. So the highest volume we've seen in six weeks, bullish reversal candlestick and a green day on Monday will confirm it. And the weekly chart is showing that bullish reversal hammer bouncing off key support. So we are looking at LABD to see some further upside, more so just for an oversold bounce after a very bearish two and a half weeks here and defending that key weekly support. So that's what we're looking at for the biotech sector. Looking for LABD to continue to be a play next week. We'll check back in. I appreciate you watching. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. The Chart Guys community has compiled trader tips from dozens of traders over the last year and put together a free ebook you can access by clicking the button and entering your email. Have a wonderful night.